Joseph El Dingo Loco Carroll here. You're watching MMA on the Rise. All right, my name is Mike Alil. Uh, I'm going to be making my pro debut on January the 26th at Coyote Joe's. Uh, I train here at Renegade Fighting Systems. also train at Rick Davis MMA, and I go to Rock MMA a little bit. Uh, I've been uh, training and fighting as an amateur since 2008. Uh, I had an amateur record of 10 and 6. I'm trying to improve everything. I've, I've got a lot of work to do in uh, uh, you know, basically every area. I always have uh, room to improve, but uh, I think probably my most comfortable area uh, would be striking, just uh, in, do boxing basically, just you know, punching with my hands, um, trying to develop other striking uh, areas, you know, my elbows and knees. Um, trying to develop my ground game more, um, trying to improve my boxing skills also. I'm here in the uh, field and the other guys here at Renegade, all the training partners here, they're helping me work on everything. I think uh, I'm going to make a lot of improvements here. I've got a lot of good training partners. Most of my wins were by submission. I've had a couple wins by knockout and referee stoppage. Um, my losses were all by submissions. I've lost by a couple quality fighters, uh, Nick Smith and Blaine Thomas twice by Blaine Thomas, uh, once by Nick Smith. Uh, my other losses were earlier on in my amateur career, and I've, they've all been learning experiences. I've definitely uh, realized that I have to work on every area, but uh, my submission defenses and ground game, I've got a lot of work on. Uh, well, I'd like to go as, as high as I can possibly go. I want to take myself um, to the highest level that I can go. You know, the best that I can be is what I, that's what I want to be. Uh, I want to, you know, try to develop myself as much as possible in every area. Um, you know, I don't really have a particular organization that I, you know, I have, I'm set on. I mean, UFC is the highest level, but, uh, you know, I just want to reach the highest that I can reach, uh, and I'll be satisfied with that. And I would like to, to fight until uh, possibly my later 30s. I'd like to continue fighting. I don't know if, if I'll be able to fight as often as, as once, every, once every month or two, but um, definitely earlier on, right now, I'm pretty young. I think I can do it if I stay healthy. I can uh, probably get a fight maybe once every month and a half to two months. Uh, you know, I'm going to make sure I'm well prepared for each fight, so I don't want to take them too close together. Um, but just basically staying healthy and uh, fighting as often as possible is definitely my goal. I try to tr train usually about twice a day on my training days. I try to include at least one, if may maybe not, you know, maybe two days a week uh, for rest, you know, to make sure I'm well recovered and I don't get injuries. I've learned in the past from my injuries that overtraining, you know, causes those, but uh, I try to just fit as much training in as possible and as long as I get enough rest and uh, my working schedule usually allows me to train one short cardio session earlier on in the day or in the middle of the day sometime and then I come in here in the evenings after work, uh, Monday through Thursday and uh, I get in a couple hours, but then on the weekends, usually Friday, Saturday, um, Sunday, I might take a day off Friday, but Saturday and Sunday, I try to get in a pretty good two full training sessions. Uh, I get a good you know, cardio session in and a little bit of strength and conditioning, and I, I'll get my MMA workout, you know, come in here and do some sparring, some grappling uh, techniques, different things like that. Um, I try to include stretching in every workout so I don't you know, get tight muscles. And once again, I'm real cautious about injuries, so that, that helps prevent those. And uh, I just, I try to eat as healthy as possible. I'm trying to make a lighter weight class than I previously fought at as an amateur. Uh, 155 is, is my new weight class as a pro I'm gonna be fighting at. So um, I, have a, I have to start cutting out uh, some of the carbs that I don't need later on in the daytime. I eat carbs, plenty of carbs before my workout because I need those. But uh, later on in the evening when I don't need all the calories, I try to cut it out and just take in protein and the nutrients that my body needs. And uh, just, you know, basically if I just get the, the nutrients that I need, I think I'm, I'll be able to definitely make the weight. I've been making a, a very steady, but not too quick of a weight cut uh, through diet, dieting and uh, I'm gonna make the last little bit cutting water. Um, my walk around weight, you know, without trying to diet, uh, would be closer to 175 or 180. Uh, somewhere between there. Um, I'm, I'm dieting down to 165 and I'll be cutting from there. The, the remaining weight is water. And um, you know, I, I'm, just, uh, I'm just trying to do it slowly. I don't want to make too uh, fast of a weight cut because I think it'll take away from my endurance. And uh, that's, that's usually about how it goes. Uh, I'm usually walking around about 175 or 180. Uh, what I enjoy to do uh, besides training is I like to uh, do some weight, weight training and things like that. I've always enjoyed lifting weights. I can't do as much of it because of uh, mixed martial arts. It kind of takes away from uh, my speed and performance. 
uh, with the real, you know, having tight muscles. But uh, you know, after I get done fighting, I'd like to maybe focus on that and uh, maybe do some personal training.